Our breasts are symbols of our femininity and they are also symbols of our sexuality. In fact, studies have shown that our breasts arose as a result of sexual selection and as such, women with big breasts tend to have higher estrogen level than women with small breasts. Hi beautiful, it's your girl Adenike Adenaya. You're welcome to today's episode of The Woman's Body. <music> structure and the functions of our breast we also looked at the different shapes of nipples that we have but today we are going to talk about our breast types and shapes and then we are also going to take a look at the different factors that can affect our breasts while we are at it please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and you can also click on the notification bell by right hand side so that you'll be notified when i drop a new video you can follow me as well on instagram at naked view or send me a friend request on facebook at adenike adenaya now let us go into the different types of breasts that we have in fact we have a lot different types of breasts but we are just going to mention only few of them the first type of breast that we have is called ideal breast so let us discuss what is an ideal breast or what makes a breast ideal well according to a journal that i read an ideal breast type is a type that is proportional to a woman's body type and height an ideal breast should not be too big and should not be too small an ideal breast is good looking and it fits into nice bras for an ideal breast the nipple and the areola are prominent and they are very very attractive we also have the upper developed breast in this type of breast the upper pole of the breast is very very full and rounded than the lower part of the breast this breast type actually fills the upper part of a bra cup very very well the lower developed breast is just like the opposite of the upper developed breast why because the lower part of the breast is fuller than the upper part here yeah, the lower part fills the bottom of a bra very very well because the breast tissue is much more concentrated at the lower part of the nipple or just below the nipple another type of breast that we have is the projected breast in the projected breast the breast tissues are large they cover a very small area of the breast root the breast roots are the areas where our breasts are fixed onto our chest so the breasts are much more concentrated just above the breast tissue covering a very narrow area of the chest and then they protrude outwards the last type that we'll talk about is the shallow breast the shallow breast is just an opposite of the projected breast because the shallow breast um spread or cover a very large area of um of the breast roots and they are not really projected outwards just like the projected breasts now let us take a look at the different shapes of breast that we have when you check google google will come up with a lot of websites that will suggest that our breast um, that will compare our breasts with different fruits sometimes you will see mango shaped breast you will see banana shaped breast pear shaped breast pineapple shaped breast um strawberry and so on and so forth our breast shapes are determined by our genetic makeup and they are also determined by our hormonal level they can be affected by several factors such as pregnancy smoking medical conditions and so on and so forth i'll be talking about them in a while we have omega shaped breast breasts here are very large they are narrow from the roots just like i described in the projected breast but they are different from the projected breast because they don't protrude outwards just like the projected breast but they are round and they are well shaped they are just like um this omega symbol 
that we have in science we also have tubular shaped breasts um for a tubular shaped breast i think such breast shape um is not normal because tubular shape is actually caused by a medical condition so if you have a tubular shaped breast i think you need to consult your doctor the breasts are very small they have little fullness and they are very narrow they are narrow they are short their roots are short and the two breasts are spaced far apart on the chest and they don't really look normal and then we have conical shaped breast just as the name suggests they are like cones they have less fullness they are kind of small they are puffy i mean they have puffy nipples which is an important part of the cone shape whereas the hemisphere shaped breast have fuller upper part which is filled with breast tissues than the lower part this shape of breast is aired firmly upon the chest and they fit very well in the upper part of a bra cup it's time for us to take a look at the different factors that can affect the shape and the size of our breast i mentioned some of them earlier i mentioned um, pregnancy medical conditions smoking and all now we take a look at some of them one of the factors that can affect the size and the shape of our breast is our weight Obesity has been found to cause decreased breast projection, they cause significant breast asymmetry, they cause less attractive nipples and areola, and they are also found to make the breast shape to be unattractive. So please let us watch what we eat and let us take care of our weight. Another factor that can affect our breast is smoking. Studies have actually shown that smoking can cause bad skin quality. They can make our areola and our nipple to decrease. They can cause them to be sagged and they can also make our breast projection to be decreased. So they also cause nipple sagging. Um, another factor is pregnancy. Pregnancy is very, very good. Don't get me wrong. Pregnancy is good, but multiple pregnancies have been found to lower skin quality. They reduce upper breast fullness. They cause nipple sagging. They also cause less attractive nipple shape and size. Also, the areola get distorted with multiple pregnancies. It is good to be pregnant, but having too much pregnancies, I think, can have a lot of effects on our breast another factor that can affect the size and the shape of our breast is large cup size uh, large cup size is uh, found to be associated with decreased upper pole fullness nipple sagging unattractive areola and increased breast sagging the last factor that we will talk about is alcoholism that is alcohol consumption um it has been shown that alcohol consumption can lead to decreased skin quality and they can also make the breast to sag on time like meanwhile such factors as massaging moisturizing healthy habits um, breastfeeding proper food intake and so on and so forth have been found to be very very good for our breasts I really hope you enjoyed yourself and you were able to learn something. You can comment below to share your thoughts on how best you think we can take care of our breast. And until we meet again next week, please be safe, drink plenty water and take good care of your body. Bye!